Hello, this is Devdutt Patnai. A few months ago, I had gone to a friend's house and the children were asking about the mudra kya hai? Because the mother kept saying she's a dancer, she kept saying I did the mudras. And they found the word very funny, mudra, for obvious reasons. They kept saying mudra, mudra, mudra. It became a year worm of a sort and they were making fun of it. And then finally they said, uh, what is mudra? And I was sitting there and watching and I'm trying to see the mother trying to explain mudra and finally I couldn't stop myself and I just said it's just gods playing dumb charades and I sat with the children and was just showing them the image of Nataraj, uh, the dancing Shiva and Tanda and I started showing all the symbols over there, how why is Shiva hand like this or why is he Buddha's hand like this and I started to explain how the gods love to play dumb charades and how through various gestures they communicate various ideas. And the parents were watching me explain this to the child and they said, hey, they wanted to write a book on this. And so I wrote a book called Shiva Plays Dumb Sharads. And that was this book. It's part of the series called the Devlok series of books. It's a Devlok omnibus. And, um, you know, I have a uh, column which has been going for a long time, about 10 years in Bombay, in midday newspaper called Devlok. And of course, everybody knows the show called Devlok. But this book was a collection of these stories and we decided to call it Devlok because my work is all about the Hindu gods, you know, devatas, the various devatas. And I have always believed that you should have a casual relationship with God. Anybody who has a very serious and frightening relationship with God doesn't quite understand the playful nature of uh, Hindu mythology. Uh, they keep playing, they have fun. And to and that's true, right? In day-to-day life, we realize most adults are also children. And therefore, we wrote these stories in the where children, gods talk to children. So there is Indra, who is an unhappy god. He has everything in the world, but he's unhappy. This Gauri, the talking cow. This Kamdev, the god who loves to party. And the Yamadev, who loves to do homework. You know, these kind of gods and Krishna who wants to go on an aeroplane, but he cannot because he does not have an ID card. And uh, how would Krishna look on an ID card? And Like many people don't realize Krishna has curly hair. And would he have a yellow backpack, which is like, uh, you know, instead of having, because he likes yellow, the pitambar silk which he wears. So these little uh, things which I think people find amusing, I think your child and you will find it amusing if you share it with your, your children, your nephews, your cousins. The young ones and discuss the stories of how Shiva plays Damsharads or how every god has an identity card and how the cows have so many stories around the world. And I think uh, why Saraswati is so wondering where is the river called Saraswati and what is the difference between the goddess Saraswati and why did she go to a school looking for the river? And it's like a, a mystery a story. So that's what the vlog is about. Uh, it is illustrated by a very good friend of mine, Vishal Tandan. Uh, so these are simple drawings just to make uh, people, these gods accessible. And when the gods are accessible, the wisdom of our scriptures and our great culture comes to children in a very simple way. You don't frighten them. You make them accessible. How can they use it in day-to-day life? Yeah.